We're Roxanne and Len, a Canadian couple that have retired early and are out exploring the world. Today, we're in Plodiv, Bulgaria. We have one day to explore this amazing city. Come join us. Yep, we're on our way to the bus station. It's about a 50 minute walk. We are on the bus, but we realized we didn't tell you where we're going. Glenn, do you want to tell them? We are going to Plovdiv on uh, this bus line. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, <laughs> about a two and a half hour bus ride. Yep. Bus is nice. Very nice bus. I don't know if we have Wi-Fi, but we're hoping. From the looks of it, it's pretty nice. We bus. probably do have one. It's a nice bus. So we just thought we'd let you know where we're heading. So we've checked out of Sofia, and we're on to Plovdiv. Plovdiv. As you can see, we made it. We are just walking now to our accommodation. Len thinks he knows the way, so we'll let him. We'll let him lead us. Probably astray. He doesn't think so. <laughs> It was a good ride. The bus was very nice. Probably the nicest bus we've had so far in our trip in the Balkans. Only bad thing is there was no Wi-Fi or else we just did not log into it if there was one. So we'll catch you when uh, we get to our accommodation. We've just come into the Regional Ethnographic Museum here in Plodiv and are kind of actually blown away by the garden in here. It's beautiful. And the building the museum is in is very ornately decorated. That's a wooden panel with paintings. All the fountains are drinkable. So fill your water bottle when you guys come. Here just west of Old Town Plovdiv is a mosque from built in 1435. Incredible sight here. Here is the ancient stadium of Philop Philippopolis. Uh, this part is exposed um, in this. It's been excavated and preserved out in this in the pedestrian mall 
upload Eve here. And this stadium, they say, could hold 30,000 people, which was half the population of Philip Popolis in its time. From what I understand, there was 60, the population was 60,000. And there's parts of this stadium exposed throughout the city. Uh, this stadium was 250 meters long and is a Roman stadium as apparently the Romans built the seats two meters up at the bottom there, two meters off the ground is where their seats began. And apparently the Greeks built their seats right at ground level. So that's how they know that this is a, a Roman stadium. Everyone, we're here in front of the H&M building at our store and we understand that there are some ancient ruins from the ancient stadium of Philippopolis. <laughs> and we're going to see if we could sneak a photo. We didn't want to pay for it, but we're going to challenge ourselves to see if we could sneak a photo without having to pay. So, so come with us. So come with us. Into the H&M. Into the H&M. Thousand year old stadium. <laughs> okay, come on. So we were successful in going into the H&M and getting some photos and video of the ancient um, stadium. The and guy was on coffee break or smoke break, I think. So we got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we succeeded in yeah. getting into H&M to get our photo or yeah, getting our pictures of the ruins. But we're going to continue on. Okay. Come, Come along, along with us. Here in Plovdiv. Plovdiv understand that we are on the longest pedestrian mall or street in Europe. So a great place to come if one of your hobbies or interests is shopping. And all through this mall you have restaurants, shops, boutiques, hotels, everything you could imagine. Bookstores. International chains. And beautiful architecture. Street art. And there you have it, even McDonald's. We just stopped for an ice cream break and we're enjoying our ice cream in front of the Roman ruins. How perfect is that? Pretty neat. It's such a nice day. <laughs> Called for ice cream. A beautiful sunny warm day. Yep. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our ice cream and carry on. We'll catch up with you. Right next to Central Square is a beautiful garden, green space called Tsar Sim Simeon's Garden. I'm going to take you through a walk through it. Here in Tsar Simeon's Park Garden, we're just exploring and we've discovered a pond.
and a nice quiet area where there's locals playing chess. Looks like a bring your own chair event. Chess or and or board games. So I was excited to see the singing fountains, but I guess when you come in April, they're not singing. I'll show you. It's kind of sad. I'm disappointed. No singing fountains. This is where they'd be. Not sure when they turn them on. But maybe next time. So the mosaics and what we're looking at here would have been the 4th to the 7th century AD. And these would have been the mosaic floors of the basilica, the bishop's basilica. This um, is all underground and excavated and preserved. As you can see, the, this basilica would have been an immense building in its time. And it would have gone back this way as well. So this underground um, exhibition shows everything that they've excavated. And here they have a glass sidewalk above the mosaics. So I'm theoretically walking on ancient mosaic here, but I'm about three feet up from it. You can Hey everybody, I came to see the ancient theater and it's not open for a little while yet so I'm going to sit and have a cappuccino in front of the theater here. Got my cappuccino at this coffee shop just across the way here. Cafe Arena. Thank you. Look at this incredible view here. This is the ancient theater of Philippop Philippopolis here in Plovdiv. It was in use until the fifth century AD when they have deduced that it was destroyed by earthquake or fire. It was discovered by archeologists in 1968 and was excavated between 1968 and 1979. And since then it has become an architectural and historical site of national significance, importance. There's the orchestra area down there and the stage area.
I believe these are inscriptions for to indicate these were seats of honor for high or important members of the community including what the signage says is the assembly of Philopolis would sit here so there's all these inscriptions on the seats and here we have an ancient intact entrance to the theater with huge huge stones um, I can't really represent how big these stones are but one of those is probably two meters possibly by one meter in length and it has an arch entrance where you come out into almost well center stage of the theater The rocks are covered in lush green moss. Not there yet. And now we're starting to get some views of the city. We're a nice look out over the city. Well worth the, the effort. So we caught the bell on the clock tower on the hill here. Here on Denov Hill, Sahat Tepe, uh, there's this clock tower that at 12 o'clock and midnight rings 24 times and the signage here indicates the clock tower uh, it was built in its present form in 1809 and it's a height of 46 meters so we thought we were at the top of the Nov Hill but discovered actually we're just at the midpoint so we're on our way oh, here's another view. to the very top oh. we have a much better view here than we did yeah. down below where we thought we were at the top okay I just wanted to show you guys something now don't come after me if I'm not getting my story correct but these strings, these red and white strings, I understand that they are given to people on the 1st of March. And some look like they've been here a while. And you wear them until you spot your first sign of spring. And then wherever this, you spot your sign of spring, you attach it to the tree or wherever, I guess. And I understand that there's something about the wish that the per that the person wished for you, who gave you the the string, I think, um, supposed to come true. So I'm not sure how that all works, but I think it's really cool. And we found a tree with a whole bunch on. And there's ones from previous years. Previous years, yeah, they've all been discolored. This one's really pretty too. This one here's got an eye. Kind of neat. Little beads. They're decorated very nice. Yeah. Some fell down. Some are on the ground. But it's kind of neat. It's a really neat tradition. 
just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, we're gonna continue on our walk. Actually, I think there's another outlook here. Oh, and some more. There's a hole. I'm not sure what that says. If you guys do, share it. Tell us in the comments. There's a whole family's worth of it. Oh, look at them all. This one has like a little soccer ball, pom poms. Really cute. There's one for a puppy. Not sure what that was. This is so cute. Oh my god, yeah, there's a puppy one. Somebody's name. It might be a name. Or a wish. I'm not sure. Tell us if you know. Oh, here's a butterfly. That's cute, too. A little crown. Oh, it's fish. It's fish, not crown. Anyway, we'll make our way down to show you this side of the hill. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect day. We thought our day was ruined when we were having lunch mid-afternoon and it started pouring. And we thought, oh, it's gonna be a bad day now and our day would be over, but it's not. See, I told you guys, it's all these young lovers. Look at all the daters, kids dating over there. I'm not sure if I could zoom in. Cute. Okay. Len's taking photos. <laughs> and I think we gotta go because somebody else wants to take photos. Is he taking a photo of... Rock City? Rock City? Mountains. He's taking photos of rocks. Morning everyone! We're here in Plodiv and it's our last day. It's actually our last day in Bulgaria. In Bulgaria. We have uh, a big day travel day coming up today. So we thought we'd give you uh, a quick wrap up of our time in Bulgaria, especially Plodiv. So what do you think of uh, our trip here? We were only here for about a day and a half, not long enough. You need, I think we could have spent about three, four days here and been quite happy seeing all the sites. There's so much here that yeah. uh, it would have been nice for more time. I totally agree. Originally, we were contemplating a day trip here uh, and we decided not to do that because a day trip would have only been three, four hours in the city and then back on the bus to Sofia. So we decided to come for a day and a half and now we're thinking that two and a half enough. or three and a half <laughs> days would have been much better. Yeah. But learn as you go. Um, there's so much to see here. History, archaeology, food. culture, art, food, just everything. Like you could easily spend three, four days here. Yeah. And, and it, still not see it all. Yeah. And um, and there's lots of free stuff to see and there's lots of paid admissions for museums and like in art centers and yes yeah. just so much to see we we've only given you a glimpse a glimpse of what's here to see yeah and it, it's really cool being in one of the oldest um continuously inhabited yeah that's cities cool. in the world i don't know where it is on the ranking but it's it's up there yeah uh i believe it's six thousand years cool about the city too is there's all around the city um, they're finding more things like ancient remains and there's multiple sites through the city as you walk through where you see you look over the construction fence they're excavating you know um, foundations of buildings and I imagine they're also finding artifacts and things like that yeah um, that's probably one of my favorite things is that you go for a walk and 
out of the blue there's there's ruins like where we're sitting is ruins pillars and <laughs> there it's so walls neat and marble and and uh yeah graves it's, that's it's, yeah that's probably one of my favorite parts we had a really good time here we had, yeah we had, it was lots of fun it, we were really tired because we did a lot of walking yeah we climbed the hill one of the hills the takeaway from this is there's a lot to see here yeah so don't just come here for a day or a yeah day and a half. or uh, don't take a day trip unless that's really your only option yeah spend if yeah you can come for a few days yeah there's lots to see yeah we had yeah. a good time here yeah definitely. we just wish we had more time here but yeah that's okay we know for next time but we really appreciate you coming with us yes for this, uh, this I hope you enjoyed our trip here too we had a good time seeing all of our uh, adventures on this trip yeah so uh, we will leave you here and we'll catch you on our next one thanks guys thanks, thanks for joining us on our day in Plodiv I'm sure you can tell it quickly became one of our favorite cities in the Balkans so if you've enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button and give us a like and hit the bell button so you're notified when we put out our next video. Thanks for coming along.